next game is Saturday in Atlanta. Harlem's one of the city's rapidly changing neighborhoods. Photographers are finding the area has a, a lack of gallery space, making it difficult to display their works. So a job training center in Harlem has invited photographers to hang pictures on walls that were once blank. Roger Clark's been checking out that exhibit this morning and a, a compelling photo, Roger, can serve as inspiration. Yeah, that, there's no doubt about it, Pat. And, you know, we think about it, the changes here in Harlem, the gentrification has been well documented. What better way to document that than through photos that span the decades? And indeed, this is a perfect way to start an art series that chronicles the enormous change here in this community. Inside this classroom at the West Harlem Skills Training Center, a group gets tips on future careers in the trades. The once blank walls now feature photos documenting life around here over the past four decades. It's a mix of, let's say, back in the day photos that I took long ago, well over 20 years ago, when you still had, you know, graffiti on the trains, when, you know, Harlem wasn't quite the uh, gentrification capital that it's become, and new things. Photographer and filmmaker Kathleen Campbell was the first chosen to showcase her work on the walls here, part of a new artist exhibition series presented by the Skills Center. Its parent, the West Harlem Development Corporation, and the Manhattan Community Board 9 Arts and Culture Committee. Co-chair Joyce Adewumi says the goal is to provide more cultural enrichment for families in an area that's predominantly low income, but also has a lack of gallery space. To build new audiences for our artists and to have the community enjoy more. Training Center Manager Miguel Rodriguez says opening the doors to artists was a no-brainer. The center is one of the programs instituted by the Development Corporation as part of the community's agreement with Columbia University which is undergoing a major expansion in the neighborhood. She says covering the walls with art elevates the space for folks hoping to elevate their lives during a time of upheaval in their neighborhood. You can't, be, you can't come in here and have an attitude in the morning and feel bad. When you see the art, it kind of makes you feel good. Everyone here agrees Kathleen Campbell's photos were a perfect way to kick off this series. She hopes it brings out the spirit of Harlem, both past and present. The reason why you wanted to move to Harlem in the old days was not the architecture, although there has great architecture here. The reason why you wanted to move to Harlem then, and I would argue now, is because of the people. That's right, Pat. And, you know, when I look at these photos and I see the trains with all the graffiti, I can't help but be a little nostalgic about it. I remember being a little kid in the 70s and 80s and my grandpa would take me on train rides because I love trains and they would just be covered with graffiti. But I think they actually ran better back then. <laughs> I think the service was better, even though they were covered with graffiti. Yeah. The, now, now there's a Columbia expansion in, in that area. What's that going to mean? Well, yeah, you know, it, you can see it going up. You ever go over by 125th Street and Broadway, 17 acres, all these crazy buildings going up. Folks here really worried about displacement and about uh, their future. And, and that's what this job training center is trying to help to help people make a living and stay in their neighborhood. 657, when we come back on Mornings on One, a big win for accessibility advocates in court. A judge says the MTA must install elevators when major station renovations are done. Dove gives you fashion-ready underarms.